What's up, guys? Topher here with TNF Battle Blog, bringing you yet another Battlefield 1 weapon review. This time, we're going back to the Scout class, and we're actually going to bring you a pretty cool little weapon, the Gewer M95. It comes in three different varieties, the Infantry, the Carbine, and the Marksman, and I'm going to be quite honest with you, I really enjoyed this gun. It isn't the best gun. This isn't running the Martini. This isn't running the SMLE Mark III. This thing is a little underpowered, but it is a whole lot of fun to play with. Now, this isn't a review that I'm throwing at you after running the gun for 40 or 50 kills. No uh, sorry, Bob. I ran this gun pretty, uh, pretty hard, and I got... Uh, 289 kills with the infantry, 150 kills with the carbine, and I even got to 110 kills with the marksman. And I really don't care for the scope that the marksman is equipped with. I like the sniper scope. I like the carbine scope. I even love the iron sights. I just can't get into the groove with that marksman scope on any of the rifles. But before we get into... Uh, my complete breakdown of the gun. We're actually going to talk about some stats. All three varieties come in at a 75 damage. The effective range is approximately 40 meters, and you're going to see a damage drop to about six, between 67 and 70 damage per round once you get to 100 meters and above. All three of the guns come in at 100 accuracy rating. While for hip fire, the infantry and the marksman come in at a 20 hip fire, and the carbine actually gets a 30 rating for hip fire. So what that means is that the carbine with the higher rating is going to have a smarter reti smaller reticule when you're aiming down the sights. For control, all three weapons have a 50 rating for control. Sh shoot at 67 rounds per minute, and the gun comes equipped with five rounds inside the gun and you spawn in with 30 rounds in total now like i said earlier i did enjoy this weapon i found uh that the infantry and the carbine i was really effective i i shot at about uh 40.5 accuracy percentage with the infantry and 45.1 with the carbine and of course those both of those weapons are equipped with the overpowered uh auto aim and so that definitely helped my accuracy. And while the marksman, I shot it at a 30.2 percentage for accuracy on that one. Now, I do enjoy the carbines. That is one of my favorite style of sniper to run. And it isn't because of the hip fire. It's because of that iron kind of red dot scope style uh, optics that it has on it. Uh, it is helped by the by the auto aim. There is no question about that. Um, but what I enjoyed about the gun was the challenge of it. When you're when you're sitting back with a martini, you know uh, there really is no challenge. It's almost a, a failure if you don't wreck shop in that game. While with this Gewer M95, there's a much higher challenge to running the gun. The damage is lowered. It's not a one-hit kill. Very rarely is it a one-hit kill unless you do get a headshot. And it's not underpowered like the other Gewer 98, which I'm going to review at a later date if I can ever get that gun up to a respectable level of kills. But there is a challenge in the M95 that you're not going to beast mode on somebody. You're actually going to have to hit your shots. You're actually going to have to rely on your sidearm. And that's what I really enjoyed about the gun. It was the challenge of it. It was the thrill of the chase. It was the strategic maneuvers you had to take while you're facing down and you're g going down on some martinis and you're going down on some Lawrence of Arabia's and you're going down on some of these other guns that are just wrecking shop. So I did enjoy the gun. Like I said, it's not uh, it's not a beast mode. It's not rapid fire like uh, the, the 1895 Russian, which I adore. And it's not uh, that one hit, head exploding, body exploding, fireworks martini. But it's a challenging weapon. And it is pretty well equipped with these three different uh, varieties. There are three different individual and unique gameplays that the Gewer M95 gives you. So yes, go out and get it. Try it out. 
Let me know what you think. If you adore this weapon, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think and why you like it. I hope you guys found this informative. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and favorite. Let's share this thing if you found it informative. And don't forget to stay frosty. available near your location. Kit is available near your location. The scout, you see it. We have almost won. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, help.